Griff, we've got just in time to catch okay. the start of the game. So we are live, despite the fact that we've gone over to Shenzhen now. Um, so we are in NIP's own arena. They'll have the home crowd advantage here. We've nice. got it just before the series starts. Okay, but already, by the way, if you, if you didn't see it there, we've got Draven and Melio here for uh, the gentleman's agreement, I think, is starting to come on through. Doggo's Draven is going to be very massive and obviously important for Ultra Prime as they set up set themselves up to continue climbing up in the standings. Yeah, it's a weird composition from Ultra Prime versus what you usually expect on the other side. NIP, very standard, <laughs> very stock and standard. The only slight variation, I would say, is, you know, the Gwen in the top side, but that's just a counterpick to Kazante, so still reasonably standard. Oh, oh Harry. no! Harry brings himself right into the open arms of Shadow. It's an absolute disaster. He thought he was making the play, but he was the receiver of the play. It's now Forge trading with Angel in the mid lane as well. Invincible first blood of the Gwen with the counter pick already. That is bad news bears for Harry. He does if Invincible walks into him. Invincible trying to escape from this one, but Ning should finish the kill and answer the top side. M yuck your mum oh, here. Oh my god. Hang on, Chuok just taken out of the fight straight off of the bat here, but it's traded back and forth. It's absolute chaos. And the ninjas in pajamas, they're dressed for the occasion as uh, they're bringing nightmares to Ultra Prime. Three <laughs> kills for them, or two kills for them, sorry, in trade for just one. Going to be able to have those aggressive plays. If you can spike with a ton of adoration stacks around the 15 minute mark like now, you can come up with half an item lead that Photo won't be able to match as we see all these kills happening over again. Like, yeah. this was just a really good start to a fight that Ultra Prime, unfortunately, they spent a lot trying to grab this dragon. And it's a new one, right? You're expecting for fights to go a lot longer. When we've seen old Draven builds, it's been about upfront damage, uh, the Eclipse, the Essence Reaver. With the Trinity Force, you're going to get a lot of movement speed and stacking attack damage. As Harry tried to get him under the turret, up against Invincible. All out comes through. Invincible tries to get the, the snip, snip. Can't quite find it. Q3 does it hit. Yes, it does. Oh! Harry turns around. No! The auto reset. Invincible cuts him down. You just can never catch it. It's so annoying. And they really wanted to try and get some bottom lane action. Juo. Oh, he's got a stopwatch, though. And here comes Fotix to try and clean up. Forge on the backside, but he's walked straight into Doggo. Fotix. Who's going to shred him? Shadow buying space in the rest of the fight here. Doggo is popping off as well, but it's Sword Art to go down. Last the reset to there. And Angel cleans it up. Double for Doggo, but at what cost? If you take a look at this replay, I mean, they're winning the top side matchup. Juo caught out, but is able to make the most of this play, and it's just a red white Aphelios moment. We've seen this time and time again for ever since this champion's been released. Yeah, so Doggo does get the cash out at very yes, least before. before going down. And then, does he get the oh. second one? Not quite, not quite. But even still, I mean, that's a huge amount of gold into the Draven. In sure. terms of Doggo specifically, this fight is fine. Even still, you see Ultra Prime now trying to fight for Vision and with a Kha'Zix, with a Draven, with a Lissandra, you know that this is a composition that really want to try and find a sneaky pick in the jungle. It's down to NIP, working together to fight for that Vision and not get caught out of oh, position. Try and pick. Fotik is here, Juo steps on forwards, but he's just not tanky enough to make that happen. Ning finds an easy one alongside Ford. Whoa, Ning. Jumps on forwards, way too far forwards. Shadow used the Cyclone by space as Angel's gonna look for a charm here. Two more charges on the Spirit Rush, but I don't think they'll look for more. Oh, look at what this is doing though. They're pulling so many members in through the mid lane. Invincible, we've talked about how much of an individual lead he has. Harry moved from top side all the way down here. So more gold going over to the Gwen and will become more and more of a split push threat as this game goes on, which will be so important for NIP as they look to try oh, to get the Oh, the Everfrost lands the charm lands as well. Fotic should finish the kill. The Ignite is there and Fotic gets the bonus. Just disrespect from Doggo there. I don't know why he stepped so close to Angel. And now look how much more they can grab. Sword Art is on the wrong side of the map. He doesn't have a tower there, but Baron is spawning in three seconds. Wow. AD carries down. They're just going to go for it. I told you these two teams are one of the some of the fastest in the league. And as soon as Baron spawns, we're gonna try to go for it. We're gonna get another team fight here, Munchable, so get ready. 
Everfrost comes out. Harry buffers the CC as Invincible charges forward with the Shroud, the Flash. And it's going to be that anchor and the charm going ever so slightly wide, but it was a pixel in it. As Ultra Prime doing enough to deny the Baron. There you go. Two teleports as well. <laughs> they a even win for Ultra Prime. <laughs> Yeah, they're not going to go for it. We have a dragon spawning in a minute and a half. We'll take a replay as to how Juo ended up dying here. Just stepping into Fog of War. This was a good pick for Ultra Prime. Oh, and that ultimate just not able to get this. I wanted to be a little cope here and say that Doggo has like one and a half items here because he does have the cozy campfire giving him just a tiny bit of extra uh, attack range. It's like a mini RFC. But then this pick, like NIP perfectly saying, you can't step here, Doggo. I don't care that you don't have Flash. Well, guess what? You step up. There's Angel with the charm, has the ignite. Like, you just got caught. I just, I mean, Angel doesn't Flash. He doesn't ult. He just walks up to him. That is a big misstep from Doggo, honestly. There's no two ways also, about it. Yeah, Sword Art shouldn't have been there. Sword Art needs to stand next to him so you can get that ultimate. We've got the Baron starting up again. Teleports in for our mid laner. Oh, trying to find the engage here. Shadow is fairly low on this one as Ultra Prime want to fight this. It's 5v5 for the Baron. Wait, no, it's not. Forge is dead. Where did Forge yeah. go? Wait, what? Died during oh. the replay. And now here we go. The Baron taking it a bonus kill as well for Motic. <laughs> I don't know what happened during the replay, but NIP are over the moon about it. Harry with the all out trying to survive, but it just ain't happening as another one goes the way of Fotic. And, uh, you know, Draven's meant to be the one snowballing, but uh, Fotic, he's more than in charge in this one. Four, zero, five, same for Angel in the mid lane. Everything looking up pajamas. And now for Ninja's Pajamas, they'll be able to take over the entire map. Forge moving out into his bot side to try to fix this wave before NIP can get down here. Angel's gonna stay, push this wave under the turret. And they're even setting up immediately for the dragon. And they're gonna get pressured in two lanes now. So Angel is more than comfortable to walk forward to grab this. Doggo's gotta be careful because they're getting pinched right now. Forge oh, no. goes in for the play as the rest of the team disengages. It's a disaster oh, for Ultra Prime. Shadow knocks everyone in the map up. He's gone a little bit deep on this one. So the rest of the team now has to try and save their jungler and save him. They will. He somehow gets out. I feel like he was knocked back somehow. I don't even know what happened there. He does go down in the end. But it's a one for one. It's two inhibs taken. NIP. It gets a little funky, but they still get out with the inhibs. Now 25 minutes. Like the base is fully open. For Ultra Prime, the I guess the only silver lining you have is you have two lanes of super minions that you can feed Doggo straight up, funnel gold into these into this <laughs> member and pray that the gold that he'll be able to get the experience will catch him up and rubber band him back into this. But it's 9,000 gold munchables. It's gonna take two and a half miracles here for Ultra Prime. As we get a replay of this fight, I mean, Forge is trying to be in engage, but unfortunately, look at where his team is. He's in no man's land. Shadow, I think perhaps overestimating how much his team could follow up here because, you know, they're all currently dealing with Forge as he turns gold and dashes away. Just about. What killed him? Oh, what? What? How does that get through? Okay, you know what? Well, maybe he, it's because he's not using championship Kha'Zix. We, we saw like, it earlier today. He pro <laughs> He's picking up a different one. Uh, being able to push that. Oh, forge. Attempt from Forge here. Fotix okay for the time being. Ning. Ning jumping into the backside. He's looking to assassinate everyone. Invincible survives, though. Double kill for Ning as he looks for a little bit more. The flash from Invincible. And here comes Shadow to try and turn the play around. Angel alongside him looking for Doggo here. And they will get the Draven down. Forge jumping back into the fray. Is Harry doing work? And Forge finishing the kill ultra prime back on top finally well. finally we get to see forge find that kill and it might not be the end angel Ooh. one last auto attack can harry get it flash gonna... 900 gold going over to ultra prime nice wait, one, wait, wait, wait a second invincible's just gone into the base he's got his shroud as well he's just gonna end the game they can't finish him <laughs> off oh my days ultra prime finally get a fight but it just doesn't matter